Yep, back in. Um, Monday today, I just got a, I got a flyer from work. I was down work early this morning and just got away sharp. So today I'll be setting this up. Uh, this is the pretense soloist. Pretense soloist. It's a walk and pole tent. Now, because I was going to do a lot of bike packing, I mean, I bought a new bike. Um, I've got my old bike with the rack on it and everything, so this will sit nicely on the back. I mean, look at that. That will compact right down. Light as a feather, good for bike packing. Um, so I'm going to set this up on the beach. So what I will do is, let's go to the beach. And here we are. We've got the tent. It's a uh, light as a feather. Way. Pegs in there. So I'm going to put it. Um, going to put a tarp down, just because the grass is a bit wet, a bit damp. Not too bad actually, considering all the weather we've had. Got the poles. Uh, I've got a sleeping mat, full-length sleeping mat, just to do a. I put it inside. See how much room's inside. If I get it done. So this is raw. Set this up straight out the bag, first time I've ever set it up. Never really set a top tent up before either, so anything could happen. Don't laugh. But I'm gonna time lapse it so I can make it look like I did it quicker. <laughs> So here we are, we'll have a walk around. We've got the uh, the pegs in like that. Obviously with the pole, you can bring the pole down and you get rid of that gap around the bottom. See what I mean about that? It's different. It's quite low to the ground that. Seams are all sealed. Oh look, nice. I think what you've got to do is get one of these, pull this door. Back like that. Pull the door back. Right, I'm gonna need two hands, so but looking at it inside needs tightening up. Let's get in and have a look. So I've got the um yeah this one here was tucked underneath, I couldn't see it. Didn't think it was right like Needs adjusting. I thought that lots to work out. This is just an initial view. I have no idea what this is for. One grip big long. I'm sure that should be on the top. On the outside. This should be tied to this. Surely. And then you've got that. You've got that extra stability. It's got guy lines, guy lines are in the bag. There's loads of guy lines in there. We'll hook on and tension straps. Tension to detail. It's quite good. Pretense. Inside. <laughs> there you go. Loads of leg room there. Oh, I've got snips again. 
this mesh needs to be lifted up a bit. Not how happy about this, it's on my face. So have your backpack in the porch there. <laughs> Actually camp here. <laughs> Too many houses. Right, my other end, so... Aye. The mesh is getting on my nerves. It's a weird way to lift that up. It must be, I'll have to work it out. There's little pockets there. There's a pocket down the bottom. Down there. I'm not sure if, if that pulled out. I don't know. It's a bit claustrophobic. I'll tell you what it is, I'm warm already. I'm sweating just in here. I don't need to put the mat in, there's my feet there. And there's me there's my headroom. I'm five foot eleven. I mean I'm six foot five. No, I'm five foot eleven. And there's the there's the headroom is about six inches at my feet. And there's about ten inches at my head. And the width as well, there's quite a bit of width. There's, that's wide enough. A, mat, a, a sleep mat would probably go about there. And we've got that bit there, extra. The quality though, the build quality, it's very good, stitching on that, and the zips, here's another configuration you can have, I've took the front door, zips from both sides, so you unzip it and you just roll it up, put it there, and then you can have a full face, I like art. That'll be good in the summer, as long as there's no midges. But you have got the mesh, if there is. And I like that. I just need to work out how to get this a bit tight, I suppose. Yeah, if you put guy lines on there, guy it out there. Talk about that done inside. Not a lot. <laughs> Keeps the, it keeps the, out, uh, the fly sheet off the inner though. I need to guy that out there, give a bit more stability. I'll have to get them guy lanes tied on. And then, obviously you've got guy points there. If you want a bit more. Should be all right, like. So there you go. Just a quick overview as I haven't uh, been able to use it yet and I'm sure I'll have to do some fine tuning just to get that mesh in there right. That's the thing, I'm not so sure about the it hangs on you, you know. I suppose it's your feet end, it won't really matter will it? As long as you've got the space here and you haven't got that on your face the foot end if it goes on you as long as the fly sheet's not touching the um, inner then you won't get the moisture in I'll have a look at the specs and uh, report my findings of the specs back back in the hoose but for now it's got a nice you see this just this just rolls up ties on there there's two tie points there Just opens up. You can have a top. You can have it set as a top like that. So you can pin that side. And have the top up like that. Or if the wind's going the other way, you can pin the other side and have it topped like that. Lots of choice. Loads of choice. It's a kind of. It's a quite a good idea that. If you've got the wind coming that way, you're protected. And if it comes that way, you can also be protected. So what I'll do is get the, the guy lines on there, on these two guy out points, and on there. And then we're gonna adjust the we're gonna adjust the tension of this. We're gonna adjust them tension straps there. I think it meant to put um 
put the peg in both so you've got the peg goes in both holes so that's like a big big loop rather than the way I've done it there I've just pulled it that's all right though I'll sort that out yep so there you go pretense soloist bike packing tent can buy a footprint for it which I think might be a good idea albeit that tarp's really tiny but you can get footprint for these because the, the bathtub floor there is not very it's a bit flimsy the material well it's not flimsy but you know what I mean it's very thin I mean it's the it's the uh, I think it's the same material as the fly feet But yeah, that's it. Just have a look where I am here. It's down on the beach. Local to me. It's literally within cycling distance. In fact, I was nearly here on my bike the other day. And there's a tent. That's it. Back to the house for the specs right so there's the specs now we can get on i was just gonna um show the the pack size of it pegs can be taken out separate whatever pegs weigh i've got my magic scales the pegs that i got in the guy lines that i'm going to tie on Weigh in at with the bag 168 grams. So that's nothing, is it? Ten to the foot of work on there. It is eight six seven eight six six eight hundred and sixty six grams. Plus you one six eight. I think the on the um, website it says seven nine five, but that's I think that's got a couple of guy lines tied on. So that's, they don't include. It's all less than a kilogram now. These are nails. I got these from, uh, I can't actually remember. I think they're MSR things. Nails, six inch nails. Each one weighs 19 grams. And if you bang them into the ground and you hit an obstacle or a rock, it just splits the rock. <laughs> so mental end things. But the only problem is they're not really good for gripping the guy lanes. So I use them when it's not too windy, but you know. Six weighs 115 grams. So let's not uh, concentrate too much on weight. What we're going to concentrate on is the um, pack size, right? That can go a lot smaller. That will compress that. If you put that in a compression bag, you'll get a half the size. There's no weight in it. That's a, that's a good thing, that like the pegs can go with it. You can take extra pegs if you want. Deltas if you want to go crazy. It's 30 denier ripstop nylon. The fabric. It this is seam sealed. I think this is a second hand tent. So I think the lad who did it before me, he um seam sealed it, and I think he only used it once or twice. So I got it off eBay, it's pretty much brand new. They're 275, £285, something like that, on the um, Valley and Peak website. I'll put some links in. I don't get any kickbacks, it's just, uh, I think I got really lucky with this on eBay. I picked it up for now, you know. I picked it up for absolutely nothing. It's £285 to buy, new, from the website. And then you've got your footprint on top of that. So I mean, it's not the cheapest, but you know, the quality, the quality is good. The stitching and everything. I mean, these little patches here, amazing. They're on everything. They're on all the um, all the guide points, reinforced guide points, and the, all the extra lines in there. They've all got quality zip locks on them, line locks. Right. So 
yeah well we can only see what it's going to be like when i take it out if we're allowed out hopefully it's looking a bit better and we might get out in march or may we might not it all depends doesn't it so i shall uh, bring you back and let you know how it got on but that'll sit nicely on the back of the bike or in the backpack nice and light and uh, it'll be well you've seen how easy it was to get it up how quick it went up once i get it fine-tuned should be laughing right so that's it